John in San Jose says, as a Christian, how involved should we be in politics of the day? He says, today we see preachers hosting national televised debates with candidates, having great presence lobbying in Washington. Is there a biblical mandate to have a voice in our country's government? I think that if you are a preacher of Jesus Christ and you are a pastor, that you should be known for speaking the gospel of Jesus Christ and nothing else. It has no bearing on the kingdom of God, who is the president of the United States. has no bearing. So that doesn't affect how we vote at all? Well, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Okay. But the point is this. There is no impact on the kingdom of God from the politics of this country or any other country. Because Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. So, if you want to dabble in something that has no bearing on eternity, that has no bearing on the kingdom of God, then you can dabble in politics. For a pastor to do that, I think, is to prostitute himself away from what his calling is, and the only thing that makes a difference, and that's the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ and the advance of the kingdom. Now, having said that, let me say this. As a Christian, I must take every uh, possible approach to uphold righteousness in a society. So when something comes up um, in the courts or on the ballot that gives me an opportunity to vote for righteousness, Mm. to vote for things that I know honor God, to vote for things that protect people from evil and all of that, I as a Christian have to vote what I think fits the biblical standard. But I understand that's a civic duty, Hmm. and that's separate from my responsibility to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. The church needs to stay out of politicking. It needs to vote righteousness, and it needs to proclaim the gospel. That's great, John. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for what you've contributed. I think this really clears up for a lot of people, myself included, uh, just how we're supposed to look at these different issues and, and how do we apply Scripture to our lives. Yeah, I might have certain preferences about who's president or who's Congress and who's a judge and all of those things. And uh, At the end of the day, however, nobody's eternity is changed by anything but the gospel of Jesus Christ, and that's what every Christian should be known for as being passionate about. That's our Constitution. That's it. (laughs) 